Hey guys, Jack here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to activate the Rogue Transmission Dinosaur Roar Easter Egg on Battlefield 4. This Easter Egg triggers one of two global sounds that the whole server can hear and also makes the trees over by the dead goat shake around a bit. Very threatening. So how do you do it? Firstly, you need two people, as there's two buttons on Rogue Transmission that need to be pressed at the same time or within a few seconds of each other. One of the buttons is located near the A point. Drive up to the digger, ground pounder, whatever this thing is here, and use a quad bike to jump up. You can also use a heli to get up there. Go prone, and in this little crack here is the first button. A second person then needs to head over to button number two, and that's up near the E point, and you can access this by climbing up onto the satellite dish. Blow up the railings here with explosives and you can drop down onto this pillar. When you're on the pillar you'll see another button you can interact with and a nice picture of a T-Rex having a Mars bar party in some trees. Bit of a hint there. Now get ready and type in chat or tell your friend to press the button at the exact time that you do. The easiest way to do this is just count 3, 2, 1 on comms and then both press at the same time. If you do this correctly the button will make a high pitched beeping sound like this. If you do it wrong, or you try to do this on your own, it'll make a sound like this. If done correctly, all you gotta do is wait around and you'll hear one of two sound bites. One is trees falling down and a bit of grumbling. And the other one is trees falling down with a roar at the end as we can see here. Boom, and credit to Carwin because I believe it was him that found the second button first with the dinosaur picture next to it. Good job dude. And that's it, just a little searching and we found it. Like I said at the start, this can trigger two different sound files and some people think that you've got to complete the Levolution and knock the cradle down to get this to happen. I found that that isn't true as you can see here and the clip that I played at the start of the video. I actually managed to trigger the roar here at the start of the round, no levolution, we just restarted the map, went straight to the buttons and did it and then the sound file played with the roar. So rather than there be a certain specific way you've got to press the buttons or do it after the levolution, rather I think it's just that there's a random chance for which sound file you're going to get. There's just a higher chance that you get the one without the roar. I also noticed that the sound and the trees moving loops, so even after it's happened for the first time, a couple of minutes later it might happen again, and it might be a different sound file and so on and so forth. It does seem very random. It just seems to keep repeating from what I could tell from my testing when we were messing around on the server. So, there we go guys, one easter egg down. Is this the big what the fuck easter egg Alexander Grondel talked about that he put into the game? It could be, but take a look at this from lead sound designer at DICE, Andreas Ångström. He said, the BF4 community is awesome, 250 pages on the BF forums and uncountable hours spent to the easter egg I conceived is finally found. So I guess it could be safe to assume that this is Andreas' easter egg and not Alex's. Also, as Alex said in the interview, one person could trigger it, and as I've just demonstrated, the dinosaur roar easter egg requires two unless you've got a spawn beacon and immaculate timing. And he also said that the whole server would see it. Not everyone is going to see the trees moving, but a lot of people would certainly hear the roar if they were close enough, uh, if the sound file played. So I'm a little unsure right now because I don't want to hang on the exact words that Alex said in that interview, but I still think that his Easter egg is in there somewhere. What I can be sure of is that there are more awesome Easter eggs out there to find. There's probably all sorts of kooky shit going on. And also that the Battlefield community is full of pretty cool dudes, basically. So yeah, give yourself a pat on the back, guys. And that's all for today. Make sure you try this Easter egg out for yourself. I'm sure there will be lots of people who still don't really know about this. And they're going to be surprised when they hear the audio file play or if they see the trees moving. Certainly lots of potential for fun there, I think. Cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next one.